After hours of debate, it was a win for the gay community in Norman. Last night, the Norman City Council passed a proclamation 7-1, making October Gay, Lesbian, Bisexual, and Transgender History Month. News 9's John Jordan spoke with the one councilman who voted against the proclamation. John? Well, Kelly, if Councilman Dan Quinn would have voted with his heart, the proclamation would have passed unanimously. However, Quinn tells me with so many of his constituents opposed to the proclamation, he was left with no choice but to vote against it. It was an emotional and divided packed house inside the Norman City Council chambers. On one side, those who favored declaring the month of October in Norman Gay, Lesbian, Bisexual, Transgender History Month. We need to know about the struggles of the many who came out and the barriers that they have faced. On the other side, those who opposed it. It's not dark thinking or bigoted thinking uh, to have an opposition to this, but it's actually clear thinking. But despite many opposed to the proclamation, the measure would pass. The one councilman voting against it, Councilman Dan Quinn. The group of people that were there that were against it um, had very strong feelings, and uh, I felt like they should be represented for the vote. Quinn says other than a few emails, almost everyone he heard from in his district urged him to vote no. It was a tough decision. I'm not usually a, a rebel or a rogue voter, uh, again, but I think whenever we are. Um, this time of, at this time politically, with the, the feeling of a disconnect between the voters and their representatives, this is one time I felt like I should represent. However, despite Quinn's no vote, supporters of the proclamation say what's important is it passed. And that was really reassuring uh, to us that, that there are real leaders in Norman uh, who, who are willing to take a stand. Scott Hamilton with Cimarron Alliance Foundation, an organization who has been fighting for gay rights in Oklahoma for years, believes what happened in Norman is just the beginning. I think that in time we'll, we'll be able to look at Norman and say, wow, those, those folks really knew what they were doing. They took a great leadership role and I want my city to do the same thing. And just to get an idea of the kind of opposition Councilman Quinn saw, he says out of the 50 calls he received at his home, every single caller encouraged him to vote against the proclamation. Kelly? All right, John, appreciate the update. If you'd like to read the entire GLBT proclamation, we have posted it on our website at news9.com.